God is a good God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise your name. Hallelujah. And thank you. Thank you for the worship team. team thank you for, for ushering us forth with the grace and mercy of the Lord. And all of us now, 31,000 people in Facebook Live and 37,000 people in Zoom. Everybody, let's give the Lord a big, 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 big shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hosanna in the highest. God is a good God. God is a good God. Si Crisal na naglead sa atin. Terrific, terrific worship and the worship team of Feast Valle Verde. Um, I will be preaching, by God's grace, I will be preaching today about hope, about bringing out the best in yourself. So as as early as now, if you have friends who needed hope, who needed to bring out the best in themselves, I'm inviting you to, to um, share the link, this link to them, especially the ones in Facebook Live, uh, in the lower left corner of your device. Um, there's, a, there's a link there called Share. Copy the link and share it to your friends or just type the names of your friends, especially your, your friends in Facebook, especially the ones who need it this most. Or even to a person that you've got misunderstanding with. Perhaps they needed the word of God today. I'm, also, I'm so excited because Tamang Tama, Palm Sunday ngayon, we will be entering into a brand new series and we want to call it this way. We want to call it, ayan, side A, side B. Parang malapit sa puso ko yung mga side A, side B na yan, Brother Ovet. Kagaya ba kita na pinanganak sa panahon ng mga kasete? Yes! Mamaya, i-discuss pa natin yan. Side A, side B. Therefore, we, we need to open up every area of our lives. And uh, the Catechism of the Catholic Church was saying that praying is opening to God. I'm inviting you to just open your mind to the wisdom of God. Offer your heart to the love and mercy of the Lord. Open your spirit, your soul to the grace and enabling power of God and open your body, especially the ones who are praying, uh, the Bergado family praying for Chi and praying for her also. Just open up every area of your life because we're going to pray our favorite prayer here in the feast. And if um, just raising both hands, a convenient uh, gesture for you, just raise up both hands wherever you are. Uh, unless you're driving, please don't raise up your hand. We're going to be praying our uh, favorite prayer here in the feast. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim God's, I'm God's beloved. I am God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. And everyone will say, Amen. God is a good God. Let's give the Lord a big hand wherever you are or just a virtual clap offering. And we will be honoring the word of God today. Let's honor the word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path we are diving into matthew and today we will be reading this as um as our launch scripture mahaba pong ating discussion dalawang kwento and it's coming from matthew 14 16 to 20. read it with me there is no, Jesus said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourself. But they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all that we have. All that we have here. Then he said, then he said, bring them to me. And he ordered the crowd to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn, who in turn gave them to the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the, the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Hallelujah. Lord, we claim your victory. 
We claim your abundance. We claim your grace. We claim the power of your word in Jesus' name. Let's honor the word once more. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's give the Lord a big, big hand. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We honor your name. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. I want to start by telling you that this series depicts, depicts Jesus as the new Moses. Siya ang bagong Moses ngayon, si Jesus. Bakit? Ngayon, hindi, hindi mag, masyadong magre-reverberate sa atin. Jesus is being the new Moses. But if a Jewish person will hear this, OMG, this is gonna be amazing, sensational, great. Because Moses is one of the heavyweights of the Old Testament. Ang, ang, ang theology ng mga Jewish people will revolve around the law and the prophets. Mo, Moses is attributed to the law, but he's also the prophet, quote-unquote. Kaya sinabi ni, Jesus, uh, sinabi ni Yahweh dati, Thou shall not touch my beloved. And if the Old Testament or the Jewish people will have the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament, namely uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, napaka-ingenious ni Matthew kasi dinivide niya rin sa lima ang, ang Matthew as the, the gospel. And these are the books. Sermon on the Mount, that's the first. Sermon on the Mount in action, and it's covering Matthew 8 to 10. Yung una, from Matthew 4 to 7, chapters. Responses to Jesus would be the third part, Matthew 11, 13. And from Matthew, 11, uh, Matthew 14 to 20, expectations for God's kingdom. Dun, yun ang ating didiscuss ngayon. And ito matindi. Para siyang, ano, para siyang Netflix series, no? Clash of Kingdoms. Matthew 21 to 25. Chapter 21. Chapters 21 to 25. Parang clash, parang ano, attack on titans. Parang clash of, ano yun, clash of Titans <laughs> and so on. So ganun ka-ingenious si Matthew. And kung naiintriga kayo, why in the world this is titled, this series titled Side A, Side B, it's because yun ang ating talakayan, yung, yung hidwaan, the conflict between two realities, the existence of the good and its desire to shine light and the existence of evil who wants to pull you to the darker side of you. So, dalawang side. Side A, side B. Naalala ko nung napaparambol pa kami sa UP. Uh, <laughs> pagka hindi kami makauwi sa bahay, yung damit namin una, side A. Ayan. Pag mga dalawang araw na hindi pa rin kami nakakawi, side B naman, baliktad. Tapos, pag inabot na kami na apat na araw, rewind, balik uli sa side A, side B. Hindi makarelate yung mga millennials. <laughs> Okay, pero marireveal ang age ni Jerry Carpio. Ay, nako special mention si Jerry. Pag nakita niya ito, ayan, Jerry, ano ang relationship na <laughs> ayan, pag alam mo ang relationship ang kaugnayan ng cassette tape at ng lapis, alam ng edad mo. At diyan galing yung oh, pag Gangnam Style, di ba? Isasaksak mo yung lapi, lapis sa uh, isa sa mga butas ng cassette tape, i-rewind mo. Uh, si play mo side A, side B. Alam nyo, gano'ng katanda, yung unang computer na hinawakan ko, hindi siya disk drive. Lalong hindi flash drive. Ang unang, ang unang computer na hinawakan ko ay tape drive. Isasala mo yung cassette tape, ipiplay mo kung gano'ng kahaba yung tape, para lang sa DOS program. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Tapos ang laki pa ng bayad for the computer class. Today, As being talk number one, ayan, ilapit natin. So we have here se- severed head or severed head and hungry crowd. Yan ang title ng talk one. Isang ulong sinaktan at isang gutom na grupo ng mga tao. And I'm excited also for the one big message. We, we like it. Yes, medyo fasting at abstinence na tayo. Pero ang one big message natin today, come and eat. Wow! Come and eat. Alin, halika, kumain tayo. The question is, 
when we say this kind of a one big message, the question is, what are you hungry about? Ah, uh, tingnan ko ngayon mga mukha dito sa Zoom. Saan ka gutom? Gutom ka ba sa pagkain? Gutom ka ba sa pansin? OMG, lahat ng tao, KSP. Hindi lang kulang sa pansin, kulang sa pagmamahal. Gutom ka ba sa... Brother, gutom ako sa ano sa financial growth. Ah, tayong lahat yan, tayong lahat. Gutom ka ba sa paglilingkod? Namimiss mo na yung makapag-serve ng live? Lahat tayo. Gutom ka ba sa presensya ng mga kamag-anak mo? What are you hungry about? All I know is in the Beatitude, um, those who thirst and hunger for righteousness will be satisfied. Would it, would it be the case of our soul today? Are we hung, are hungry and are we thirsty for the righteousness that only God could give? Kaya ito yung pangalawang tanong ko sa inyo. Are you hungry? Matinding tanong yan because some will not admit their hunger. Do you admit it when you're hungry? When you need sustenance? Lalim na salita nun. When you need um, the sustenance for your soul. We are entering the Holy Week today. In histo- Historically, Jesus rode the donkey at yung mga palaspas, inihanda nila sa daan, and they were singing, Hosanna in the highest. You know, if a donkey is, if the donkey is the ride of the king, yun ang kanyang sasakyan. If the donkey, uh, if the donkey, if the king rides on the horse, it means war. Gera tayo. Pag ang hari sumakay sa kabayo. Pero pag ang hari sumakay sa donkey, ang, ang pagkakaiba ng donkey at ng horse ay ito. Ang, ang horse, yan ang kabayo. Ang dangki, ganon. At saka pandak. Aray, sakit. Pandak yung mga dangki, mahaba tenga. Pag sumakay doon ng hari, peace tayo. Peace, yo. Are you hungry? At yun ang ating tatalakay ngayon. Dalawang kwento. Akala mo walang kinalaman, pero we will clash the side A, side B of the story for today. The first story is this. Yan. Read it with me. Because now Herod, or King Herod, had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill you, to kill him pala, he feared the people, for they regarded him as prophet. But at a birthday, oh, take note, a birthday celebration for Herod, The daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she asked for. Okay, I'll give uh, some annotations with the discussion. Alam nyo ba na mayroong mga religion na hindi nagsa-celebrate ng birthday? Pero nakakatawa, tumatanggap sila ng birthday bonus <laughs> at saka birthday leave. Bakit? Kasi dalawang beses sa Bible naging idol ang presentation ng birthday. So that's just trivia. Also, makikita nyo, sa so sobrang galing sumayaw nung, nung dancer dito, anak ni Herodias, sobrang na siguro lasing na lasing na yung hari, eh humataw na siya, tum- nagtanong, anong, anong gusto mong ibigay ko sa iyo, kahit kalahati ng aking kaharian. Dumapit si, ano, dumapit yung bata, yung youth, yung teenager na malaswa naman magsayaw. Lapit siya sa, sa airmats niya. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed because he ordered his, um, because of his oaths and the guests that were present. He ordered that it be given and he had John beheaded in prison. The head was brought in a platter, in some verses, in a silver platter, and given to the girl, tingnan nyo ah, tingnan nyo ah, binigay sa babae, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and then went and told Jesus. Grabe no? It was bluntly done. It was bluntly um, uh, committed pag sinabing bluntly, ganun-ganun na lang yun. Um, sobrang gal- galing sumayaw, siguro, we don't know what kind of dances would that be, baka semi-sensual dance yung nangyari. 
Ito naman yung hari kasama mga kaalyado niya. Nagpasikat ganyan mga lalaki pag may kasamang barkata nagpasikat. Sobrang galing mo bibigay ko. Bigyan ng jacket 'yan. Parang ganoon ano. <laughs> Ito bibigay ko kahit nakalahati ng kaharian mo. Kaharian ko. Tapos hindi alam. Nakakatuwa ito, nagpadikta naman yung 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 youth na yun, nagpadikta. Mami, ay lingin ko kasi bibigay daw kalahati. Siguro excited yung babae sa kayamanan. Pero dahil may may bad blood or may galit yung ermas niya kay John the Baptist sa servant ni Lord. Papugot natin yung ulo ni John the Baptist tapos i-present natin dito. Kung nanonood kayo ng 300, nanonood kayo ng Vikings, ganito ang nangyari. Karumaldumal. Ayan, bibilisan ko na lang pakita. Karumaldumal. And I would like to warn you, group think leads to group evil. That's one of the very first warnings that I want to give you. Group think leads to group evil. Group think is ano yan eh, sign ng kahinaan mo. When you say group think, isang grupo kayo, pero gusto nyo isa lang decision. One, one example could be block voting. May karapatan ka naman mamili kung sino gusto mong iboto. Nothing against people who practice that. In, 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 in fact, if it's an enlightened, um, enlightened discussion and you decide to have block voting because it's a personal belief of your family or your organization, nothing against that. Pero pag nagpapasway ka na sa dictation ng iba, that's at the very least the word that I would share with you is you're so immature. And ladies, if you're single, do not marry an immature man. Yung nagpapasway sa sabi-sabi ng iba, di ba? Walang kawenta-wenta sabi-sabi ng iba. Nagpapasway ka naman. That's group think. You cannot decide on your own. Gusto mo. Mag-isip sila para sa iyo. Oh, ano dito siya ng iba? Diyan na. I, I want to remind you, I preached last Sunday, a good thing is good even if you're the only one doing it. And a bad thing is bad even if everyone else is doing it. That is, once again, group think. Alam nyo, naalala ko yung libro na, uh, na um, People of the Lie. I, for me, it's a better book than The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck. Bakit ko sinishare sa inyo? Siya ang nag-enlighten sa akin sa group think at saka group evil. Yung group evil, ganito yan. Sobrang, sobrang negative kayo mag-usap, sobrang violent ng isip nyo na hindi na kayo nakakonsensya sa paggawa ng mali. Unang evil, ito. May sumasayaw, may sumasayaw um, doon sa party ng hari, sa birthday party. Siguro binigay niya yung pinakamatinding pinaka giling niya. Sensual dance. Yung hari naman, ito ha, kung nasa tamang wisyo ka ng if you're mature, bakit ka magsiswear sa harap ng marami? Okay. Uh, sabihin natin, hindi yung head ni John the Baptist yung hiniling. Pera. Nakaltasan ka na ng pera. Siguro inisip niya, eh parang kasi kalaguyo ko naman yung nanay nito. Eh de, uh, ano, okay lang. Parang sa akin pa rin yung kayamanan. Eh kaso may bad blood nga yung kanyang asawa si Herodias. Ewan ko bakit niya... Bakit niya niligawan? Hero de Rodias. Siguro nagkita sila kahit asawa siya ng kapatid ni Hero, sabi niya. Hero, Herodias. Uy, meant to be. Kaya siguro sila nagkaroon ng relationship kahit masama. 'Yun ang unang evil doon. Nangako ka, ang tawag doon ano eh, uh, people respect. It's the only word respect with the, with the negative connotation. Kubaga ni respeto. Ang, ang, ang equivalent niya ngayon psychologically would be people pleaser. Are you a people pleaser in your personality? Gusto mo sumaya mga tao kahit ikaw nasasaktan. Kahit mali na, pasayahin mo lang sila. Parang yung mga sinaunan nanay at tatay, hindi gagamitin yung mga porcelana para lang mapakain yung mga bisita. That is group thing. Gumawa na masama nagsayaw, hindi humingi ng sarili niyang desisyon, humingi sa nanay na masama din na evil, hiniling yung buhay ng isang tao. And beware, the second warning would be this. Evil numbs your conscience. Tanong, ikaw sumagot nito where you are. Ah. Pag gumagawa ka ng mabuti o ng masama, ah, pag gumagawa ka ng masama, nakukonsensya ka pa ba? Pag ikaw yung nakukonsensya pa, very good. Pag hindi na, Delikado ka na. Siya nga pala, I want to update you, there are 72,000 people 
now in in Facebook Live. Congratulations, team, and congratulations, everybody. Kapag kinokonsensya ka pa, going back to the discussion, kapag kinokonsensya ka pa sa paggawa ng masama, okay pa tayo niya. Ibig sabihin, the internal audit system of your soul is still at work. And it's called conscience. Pag namanhid na yung konsensya mo, gumagawa ka ng kasalanan, hindi ka na konsensya, malaking problema natin dyan. Kaya nga tinawag natin itong talakayan na to na severed head and hungry crowd. Kasi dalawang kwento. Ito yung unang, ito yung side A. Okay? Karumaldumal na naganap. Let's read some more. Nung nangyari ito, lumapit yung mga alagad ni, ni St. John the Baptist, kinuha nila yung katawan at inilibing nila. At lumapit sila kay Jesus para sabihin ito. When Jesus heard of it, He withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by Himself. Naiiyak ako. Naiiyak ako dahil sa picture na to. Di ba? Even heroes have the right to bleed. Kahit siya pa si Jesus Christ, one of the most courageous and most loving and the mo- one of the most emotionally healthy people in the Bible, allowed himself to grieve. Kaya nga, in one of our live talks that is a Peace Valley Burden ng Old Normal, I shared with you that there is such a thing as uncried tears. Kapag hindi mo iniyak ang isang bagay na sobrang nasaktan ka dahil kailangan mo magpakatatag, I tell you, iiyak mo yan during worship, during recollection, during retreats, or during talks. It's called uncried tears. And look, Jesus grieved. At pagtapos niya magsenti, pumunta siya sa isang, nagpakalayo-layo pa siya, dumistan siya pa siya. I believe that this is emotional boundary. Kailangan mo magpahinga. Sabi nga ng poem, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Let's continue with the story. But, The people who need need these words, please, if you need to grieve, grieve. If you need to distance yourself for a while, distance yourself for a while so that you can spring back to action. Anong sabi dito? When Jesus heard of it, hindi pa natapos. Kala nyo natapos doon. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. Di ba? Nagsisintimiento si Lord umiiyak. Tapos yan pa ang ginawa. Kinabul pa rin siya, pre-measure pa rin siya ng tao. Kaya this is what I want to share with you. Jesus was already in pain, but He felt the pain of others more. Alam mo yun? You have no idea that the people who are preaching to you, J.O. Gawin, me, all the peace builders in peace Ortigas District, even Brother Bo, you guys in Facebook Live or wherever you are, You have no idea with the kind of pain that your preacher is going through. Wala kayong idea. All you see with the talk, the face, the energy, at tayo naman, dahil tayo nakikinig ng talk, come on, preach some more. Pero lahat kami, tao lang, may pinagdadaanan din kami. And we want to imitate Jesus after grieving so much and already in pain, he felt the pain of others more. You were with me, Peace Valley Verde, the times I don't want to preach. I just stick around with you. The time I did my sabbatical. That's it, my dear friends. We're human beings. We need people. Sabi ni Maury Swartz in Tuesdays with Maury. Sabi niya, when we were born, we need people. Before we die, we need people. And the secret in life is in between You're born and you're about to die. You need people. You need each other. That's why I'll, I'm giving you a moment. If, you, if you're not using your device in a Facebook Live, you have another cell phone, kindly text the person who, whom you love so much. Text that person. It's going to be easy to you. Mamimis kita. But I want you to know that we're praying. Chi Aguirre, we love you. We're praying for you. And you suffered a lot. We're praying for you. Guys, Do not enter the feast or the feast life for that matter or anytime you want to watch. Do not enter the presence of God without a prayer. Ministers, even those in the production, sayang lahat ng energy, ng service, pag wala kang inalay na prayer. 
Now I am doing this and preaching. Baka kala nyo, madali lang to. I'm praying for some people who are under, undergoing so much so much struggle. I'm offering this to the Alarcon family, people close to a friend of mine, but I know them. The entire family, even the two-year-old kid has COVID and the 80 plus year old elderly has COVID, all seven of them in the family. And I'm praying for their speedy recovery. Never waste a pain that you have. Offer it for the glory of the Lord. We move on. Compassion is divided into two words or two meanings, come and with passion. And it also would mean to suffer with or with to suffer. Compassion. So Jesus felt compassion. Mayroon siyang sariling, sariling pinagdadaanan na matay ang kanyang pinsang buo, si John the Baptist. Pero kailangan siya ng, ng crowd. Iniyak niya, pero mayamaya bumangon siya, tumulong siya. My dear friends, this is for you. If this is for you, embrace this truth. We are not just called to be healers. More so, you are called to be wounded healers. And, and you will be called to, a wounded, to be a wounded healer of the very same wound that hurt you. Sa mga ulilang lubos, you can minister to those who are orphaned already. Sa mga, I don't know why I have to preach this, sa mga nagkaroon ng AIDS, you're the best preachers for those who are pusit. They call them pusit, positive. To those who are gay and you don't want the world to know, perhaps you could minister to another person. You have no idea how painful it is to be LGBT. Dali-dali lang natin tumawa mong musga, but they have their own share of suffering even beyond your imagination. I pray for them today. We continue on. We've heard a story of, of Herod a while ago. Now we're veering into the next story. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, this is a deserted place and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. There is no need for them. See, Jesus naman, eto. There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourself. Kakatawa siguro. Sabi naman alagad, ito lang pera natin. Wala na tayong pera. Mahina yung collection natin, yung love offering doon sa isang event ni Lord. Ito lang tinapay natin, tsaka isda, bigay pa ng bata. Sabi niya, ah, Lord, ah, Lord, pauwi mo na yung mga tao. Kasi, ano eh, Nata yung pera kahit dalawang daang araw pa na sahod, di talaga kaya. Sabi ni Lord, pakaimin nyo na sila. Siguro kung ako yun, ha? We, di nga, gaganon ka, di ba? Ito po yung nangyari. Sabi niya sa mga alagad, kayo na ang magpakain. And let's read the scripture about that. Napaganda. But they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all we have. Bigay pa yan ng bata. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, looking up to heaven, he said a blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They pick up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate are about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. According to Chismisology report, it's around 12,000 people if you include women and children. But the Lord made a Eucharistic solution. This is a fresh word. He made a Eucharistic solution to a big problem. And it created a miracle. Maybe the Eucharistic solution is also what you need. Nagmimisa ka, even if it's online, but you believe in total faith that God can bless you even to an online Holy Mass or even to an online talk, then that is a Eucharistic miracle. He raised it up, said the blessing, broke it, and look at what happened. He gave it to the disciples and the disciples gave it away. Yan po ang side A, side B natin ngayon. At may kita niyo yung distinction ng dalawang daigdig 
dalawang nangyari. Isa, celebration, birthday celebration ni Herod, isang hari. Yung isa naman, totoong hari, pero ayaw ang kini na siya ay hari, nagpakain sa mga maralita. This one is so politically inclined, nagpachibog sa mga may influensya, may sumasayo pang chicks. Pero dito, yung mga maralita, pwede nang pauwiin, pinakain ni Lord. Which brings me to another question. Who is your king? Sino ba ang hari sa buhay mo, kapatid? Totoo na nagpalaspas ka ngayon? Totoo, hari si Lord? O meron kang selfish hero inside you? Or is there a selfless Jesus within you? Don't tell me yes, don't tell me no. Because there's an inner selfish person and an inner selfless person clashing, pulling themselves from within us. Sarili ko na lang ba, ba? Mahal ko o ako ang mahal? Mga ganyan. Sino? Sino ang ating hari? Yung pagiging selfish natin? O yung pagiging selfless natin? If it's a hero inside you, puro amig, puro amig. At sasabihin mo, ay, salamat, safe kami ngayong lockdown. Pwede, 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 pwede. Pero dapat isipin din natin ipagdasal at tulungan ng iba. Kahit hindi ka personal na pumunta doon. There are many ways to help people. Let's unleash the Jesus within us. Next question. What party will you join? Anong gusto mong party? Yung may mutilation o yung may multiplication? Gusto mo ba yung party na, yes, mabongga, masaya, may sumasayo na chicks, pero anytime pwede kang papugutan ng ulo. Sabi ng kaibigan ko, I have friends, I have friends from politics and from show business. And both of them are saying the same thing. There's no permanent friend in this industry, both in politics and in show business. At sabi naman ng isa kong komedyanteng kaibigan, politics is so much, so much like show business. Only that the actors in the politics are uglier. <laughs> Joke only, ah. May mga kaibigan po ang politiko, pogi lahat. Nakikinig ang isa ngayon. Oh. Kasi totoo ng guwapo at pogi pa, presence of God inside. Ingat-ingat ka, baka yung mga quote-unquote party na pupuntahan mo ay imimutilate ka, pupugutan ka ng ulo pala. Ingat ka sa kainuman mo, baka tinatridor ka. Whereas, there's a party It's a Jesus party. It's all about multiplication. This is just fresh. If you have friends who bring out the best in you, stick around with these people. If you have friends who make you feel like you, you become shattered, divided, distracted, stay away from that party. That's what I mean when I am giving you the choice. Is it a party of mutilation or a party of multiplication? So what party will you join? And just to quote, Willa Kether would say, when there is great love, there are always miracles. Lahat ng bagay na merong pagmamahal nagiging himala. At isa sa mga himala, like what I was telling with you, sharing with you a while ago, it's the multiplication story of the Eucharist. The multiplication is also Eucharistic by, by alignment. Yung ginawa ni Lord, raising up, breaking, and giving is just, I am your Eucharistic Lord. Next question. Will you sacrifice everything? Anong gusto mong sakripisyo? Yung ginawa ni Herod? Nakakatawa yung sacrifice niya. Eh. Ibang tao sinacrifice niya. Eh. Para lang ma-please niya yung bisita, ma-please niya yung dancer, ma-please niya, sorry for the word, yung kanyang kerida. Are you a people pleaser? Because I want you to know that it's Charles Spurgeon, another mighty preacher, who said that character is always lost when a high ideal is sacrificed on the altar of conformity and popularity. Ano bang altar ng buhay mo? Para sumikat? Para maging maraming followers sa Facebook? Pwede. Okay naman. But in your heart, it has to be an influence for the good. Do not compromise in the altar of popularity. Whereas, yung naganap sa scripture ngayon, they said to him, five loaves and two fish are all we have. Sabi ni Lord, tumawa siya, 
pwede na yan. Because in the hands of Jesus, things will get multiplied. Do not compare yourself na anda yung magagaling na worship leader, iba na lang mag-lead. Just put it in the hand of God. One of these days, you lead worship. You like yung ginawa ni Crystal ngayon. ba? Diba? Hindi naman ito competition, hindi ito labanan ng pagalingan. Ito ay pabaitan. As long as you've got the heart, God will multiply that, whatever you have. Wala na akong pera, Brother Obet, magtatype pa ako. Give it to the hands of Jesus and things will get multiplied. Mamaya, meron akong ending story about how the Lord can really multiply. Uh, ngayon ko na sabihin yung iba. I almost got kicked out of my school, not only because of violence, but also of my low grades in communication and communication. I cannot write well. I cannot speak well, especially in English. Pero I place it in the hand of Jesus Christ. Every night, sabi ko, Lord, paano ba matututong mag-English? Sabi ni Lord, siguro pinagtatawanan niya ako. Maybe you want to, to pray in English so we can practice. Sabi ko noon, really now? Okay, Lord. Good evening, Lord. Sinasara ko yung pinto para mapag-English. And you know what happened? This is what happened. In the hands of Jesus, things get multiplied. I, I, now, I am now a writer of books. I am now an international speaker. Mas masarap mag-talk ng English sa ibang bansa. Alam niyo ba yun? <laughs> Hindi sarap na mga Pinoy. Because in the hands of Jesus, things get multiplied. This is probably one of the last questions that I'm about to ask. So get ready for worship. Will you give what is given to you? Pwede mo bang ibigay yung kanya naman yan talaga? Di ba? He gave the bread to the disciples who distributed to the people. Anong gustong palabasin ni Lord? Jesus wants you to be his distribution method. Distribution center ka ng grasya ni Lord. Do this with me. Place your hand of your heart and say this with me. I am a distribution center of God. Yan! At dahil distribution center ka, dapat mabait, mapagmahal, mapagpatawad, palangiti. Ako pwersado ang umiti kasi tingnan nyo. <laughs> I look more like a fighter when I'm not smiling. And we're about to end. I just want to encourage you with this. Jesus wants you to be a multiplier. To be His multiplier. Tingnan nyo kung gano'n kasaya yung alagad. Oh. Diba? Yan ang distribution center. Na yan, nagmumultiply. Hindi mo naman grasya yung binibigay mo eh. Akala nyo ba? Akala nyo ba itong talk na binibigay ko? Akin to. Lahat ito galing kay Lord. Ibinibigay ko sa iba. Because love divided is love multiplied. So I bring you to the very first question that I ask. Are you hungry? Hungry for Him? Hungry for righteousness? Hungry to forgive? Hungry to grow in this Holy Week? Then what is the invitation of Jesus? Come and eat. Before we worship, my dear people of God, I'm reflecting a while ago. What's the last story that I would share with you? And I realized the sequence of the, this last short story that I want to share was reversed by the grace of God because I was an insecure person and then I entered into brotherhood and that brotherhood caused me to be broken and break a lot. I broke a lot of noses. I hit a lot of heads. But God is a good God. He welcomed me because I was hungry for love. I admitted my hunger. He welcomed me and changed me. Tingnan nyo, i-reverse ni Lord. God healed me and then made me an expert of Christian brotherhood. It's called radical training. In order to rebuild young men and make them a weapon of the Lord. Nagsimula sa isang insecurity, tapos napunta ako sa fraternity, tapos nabasag ang buhay ko, bino ako ni Lord, naging ginamit niya yung anointing ko sa 
pagiging brother, and it healed a lot of broken men. I will name a few of them. Monching Bueno, Lep Somera, J. Paul Hernandez, and a lot of radical men out there. Will you stop if he has the grace to heal your broken heart and multiply what you've got? This is God's question to you now. What do you have? And don't argue, Lord, pangit ako, Lord, maliit ako, Lord, don't argue. All you have to do is to place it in the mighty hands of Jesus and he will multiply. Lord, let this multiplication happen right now. We're about to worship you. In fact, everything is a worship and we claim your victory, your multiplication power as we worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us worship the Lord, brothers and sisters. Praise you.